for it. Uh, when, you, when you ask your questions, please ask a question concisely. Also, when your question is asked, I'll give the Utah Minutemen Project and United for Social Justice a chance to respond. Try to keep the responses to under a minute and a half. May I respond to my Sure, sure. Uh, briefly, what we look for is um, documentation to answer your question. Uh, we, I go into the U.S. State Department to get information. Uh, I'm going to uh, the United Nations to get information. I go into uh, various government agencies, various government reports. You'll find them on, online as you go into this. Uh, the good one is uh, congressional uh, reports. I can't remember all that completely. But they get these reports and information and everything. So, for instance, as you talked about the aspect of criminalization, uh, you'll find a central point on this, and we have to reiterate again internationally, is organized crime. The United Nations comes out and says this is the greatest threat to all nations, to all humanity, in any aspect, to all our society and our culture. You see this in uh, what is happening in Mexico right now with the cartel war, the viciousness of it. I mean, they take their immigrants that they have and they execute them. We don't. Would United for Social Justice like to respond as well? Yeah. Uh, just in terms of what sources we use, I guess, then. Um, personally, in the information that I prepared today, I have some other copies of. Um, of my paper that I, that I wrote up that I gave um, to one of my colleagues. So again, if afterwards you want to grab one, let me know. Um, but some of the sources I cited today were the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, uh, even Fox News, the Congressional Budget Office, um, the National Bureau of Economic Research. Generally speaking, I just try to stick with, or the Cato Institute was another one, just try to stick with you know credible economists that have PhDs and teach at good universities and or work for the government. So similar to my, so. Um, in addition, yeah, you know what other other countries do execute their immigrants. By what standard is morality that other people do bad things too, so it's okay if we do it, or somehow we're valorous because we don't do the worst atrocities against immigrants? <laughs> you know, I, I I don't know. I don't I don't really look to Sudan for my moral compass, but I, I guess if that's what we've been reduced to, then I think we're in a, certainly in a sad state of affairs. No offense to anyone who's Sudanese. Just their government is part of it. If I might just preface um, where I'm coming from with this question. Um, my mother was born in Buenos Aires. Uh, her her uh, grandparents are from Italy and France. My father's born in uh, LA, in the Barrio, uh, but he's white, and his dad's born in Norway. Um, my father-in-law is Dutch Indonesian and African. My mother-in-law is Mexican of Spanish and Native American descent. So, so and I've lived in three countries and six states. Um, I think I'm pretty uniquely qualified to that in my life history. Please ask your question. Um, um, and the reason why I was reticent to stand to the Pledge of Allegiance is because I didn't think it was sincere. It, it was a gash. Yes, sir. But I think there needs to be there needs to be some some preface. Um, the three there. gentlemen on the left have been very respectful. You have been defensive and argumentative and accusative and attacking from the jump. So you talk about you talk about the the, the organized crime. So now now let's talk about organized crime in in, in the World Bank and Monsanto and Del Monte and and explain to me how that's any different than the organized crime that you're that you're talking about. Organized crime is basically in it for money. It's from anything. It could be people, it could be drugs, it could be arms, it could be as you're uh, contemplating there, uh, the monetary systems. They're in every aspect of our society around the world. They're into politics. They run the polling. Uh, um, different parties. They're part of governments. So this is the problem we have to have is, is people being diligent in, in overseeing and protecting their own rights. This is a part of our government, the way it's formed up as citizen involvement, to try and get rid of the corrupt officials. It's not an easy thing to do. It's, it's so intricate, interlaced, so to speak, into our society. You go down to Mexico, uh, and I'll 
using that because that's uh, a country of my heritage. That's my country of hopes and dreams. But the corruption there is just so hard. You don't know who to trust. And I'll give you an example. Mr. Lucero uh, went with it when you uh, gave $50 to a uh, police officer to let you go through a traffic stop. I've been through that. You know, when you got two M16s pointing at you and you're asking me for my identification and who I am and everything, and my cousin's busy trying to uh, defend and tell me who I am and everything, and I'm visiting on a trip. And then in order for him to get uh, us to go on the road is for him to place a $50 bill on the officer's hand as he turns around and puts his hand through the window. That's the corruption that you're finding. So it's worldwide. It's global. It's in the high positions. But we have to work together to get rid of it. To respond to your question, ma'am, um, there's really not much difference between the World Trade Organization and those institutions against which USJ and here in the state of Utah, the Utah Minimum Project, are struggling. So, uh, it's just the force of law that differentiates them and how much influence and reputation and esteem they are held with in society, I believe. The United for Social Justice has two minutes to respond. Thank you very much. Also, um, if we could ensure that the next, in the sake of parity, uh, if only uh, people supportive of the Minimum Project could raise their hand because we've had two questions that, as I see, were somewhat less than favorable. Um, as for me, I think what really differentiates uh, the World Trade Organization from, say, a criminal cartel is they have much, much nicer officers. <laughs> uh, but again, it's, it's, it's nice to just uh, talk about the World Trade Organization. It's nice to talk about the IMF and how these are bad, terrible institutions. But of course, you know, uh, the first law of business is the first law of crime. Follow the money. Who is the majority shareholder of the World Trade Organization? Who is the majority shareholder of the International Monetary Fund? Who is the majority shareholder of the World Bank? Who benefits through the structural readjustments, not only in Latin America, but across the world? Now, I'm, I'm perfectly happy to say, to make a strong difference, between the American people and the American government and corporations to which that government serves. I'm willing to make that distinction. But also, I'm not willing to make that distinction in distinction to the undocumented workers who are also here living and working just for the sake of simplifying the situation. The United States government and the United States, primarily the United States corporations, follow the money, are responsible for the actions of the World Trade Organization, the IMF, and the World Bank. And until the American people force the American government to put its house in order, it is hypocrisy of the highest order to demand that the poor and the destitute be criminals simply for looking for a better life. I just got like five seconds. Basically, I just like to say it's been really nice having some discussion with Mike here. Because of the fact that you know he really is concerned about uh, slavery, exploitation, organized crime, uh, you know, which we are. I've actually learned a lot from Mike from uh, being able to have a chance to talk with him uh, just a couple times. So we share really those same concerns, and I appreciate that we can both understand that you know capitalism uh, and big business is really uh, the cause of a lot of these problems. Right, I think we've had one question that was somewhat favorable to you, you got it for social justice and one favorable to the Utah Minimum Project. But please let the let the person with the microphone know whether you're going to ask a question favorable to one of these organizations. The next question.